Hi everyone, I'm Nicole, and I hate my looks. I even hung up all the mirrors in the house. Why? I'll tell you my secret, and please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Thank you. I'm just a simple girl from an ordinary family. And my appearance is completely inconspicuous. No one ever pays attention to me. Because of that, I never had any friends. I was sure that the problem was that I was not pretty and bright enough. It was especially felt when I went to social networks for the hundredth time in a day and watched the storisms of mind-blowing Regina. This is a very popular movie star and singer. She's practically the same age as me, but insanely cool. There are millions of people watching her life on social media. Every picture of her gets thousands of likes in a minute. And Regina has lots of friends all over the world. All the girls in class want to be like her, and so do I. But when I looked in the mirror, I knew I wasn't as good as Regina. My nose, lips, eyes, even hair. Everything was not what I wanted. And it prevented me to be happy. I decided that no matter what happened, I had to change my appearance and become as beautiful as she, Regina. I'm going to be just like her and then everything will change. I would become visible and wanted by everyone. For months, I've been trying to figure out how to do that. My family couldn't afford to pay for plastic surgery for me. So I decided to cheat. My parents had been saving for my education since I was born. They opened a separate bank account for this. And then in a week, I would turn 18 and that account would be open to me. It was the early morning of my birthday and I ran to the bank. And an hour later, with a big wad of money in my backpack, I was already sitting in a plastic surgery clinic. At the doctor's appointment, I handed him a picture of Regina. I want to look like that, exactly, I mocked. The doctor looked at me carefully, then called someone and smiling tense, asked to wait in the hallway while he prepared all the materials for my future operations. Then we would discuss everything and set a date for my first surgery. Ah, I was so happy. I sat in the corridor in the first chair I saw and waited. Across from me sat a girl with dark glasses. It was obvious that she was, it was obvious that she was uncomfortable and she tried to be as inconspicuous as possible. Inside, I had a vague feeling that I knew her. That hair, the contour of her lips, it couldn't be. Regina? I jumped out of my chair. Yes, it was her, my idol. Regina took off her glasses upon realizing she'd been compromised. Hi, she whispered. I'm Nicole, and I came here to be as beautiful as you are, and it'll bring me luck, I yelled. Suddenly, I saw tears in Regina's eyes. She waved her hands in the air. Don't do this! Do not become a copy of me! It's horrible! Her words shocked me. The next thing Regina told me was that those beautiful eyes, the snub nose, the pouty lips, all of it was done at the clinic. Producers made her change her appearance so that, at first, even her mother did not recognize Regina. Before the operations, she had an ordinary appearance, but for the stage was not enough. But I lost myself, Nicole. I hate the way I look in the mirror. It's not me. It's just an image, a picture, but it's not me. I felt sorry for Regina. There was this poor girl sitting in front of me. Her life taken away from her. Her popularity had ruined her. And she had come to the clinic to regain her inconspicuous appearance, she told me. After a couple of minutes, the doctor came out. He nodded at me questioningly. Well, what? I hit the photo of Regina. Thanked him and left. As I walked down the street, I felt strange. I felt sad and light at the same time. The doctor must have sent me into the hallway on purpose to hear Regina's story. That's what I thought as I sat to the table at home. I quietly returned the entire amount to the bank account. I decided that a good education could do more for me than a pouty lip and an upturned nose. I would learn to love myself. Yes, I'm no beauty queen, but the right makeup and hair can work wonders. 
I don't want to have to run to clinics like Regina to get my inconspicuous looks back. Oh, the doorbell rings. Must be the guests. I'm 18 today, after all. I hope you liked my story. One last thing. Value your individuality. Don't try to be copy of someone else, but become the best version of yourself. I'm Tori. I look at myself in the mirror, and I hate the way I look. Why am I so unlucky? Those big ears, the nose, the eyes with strange color. It just pisses me off. Hello, daughter. Oh, mom's home from work. She's the perfect beauty. Look at her. She's like a beauty queen. And I really want to be like her. First of all, she has beautiful plump lips. I saw somewhere that you can increase your lips with a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to try it. <laughs> While my mother was changing, I turned on the vacuum cleaner and pointed my lips directly into the tube where the air pressure comes from. Daughter, what are you doing? In the doorway stood a dumbfounded mother. Even in her home clothes, she was a beauty. I want the same beautiful lips as yours. I stomped my feet angrily on the floor. Don't be crazy, Tori. We talked about this. You are growing, shaping, and soon you will see for yourself how firm an ugly duckling you are. Mom, I'm not going to turn into a beautiful swan. I'll still be ugly. Mom sighed and went into the kitchen to make dinner. This wasn't the first time she and I argued about it. Boys don't pay attention to me. I'm a tomboy to them and nothing more. And that needs to change right away. I'm sick of being like this. I grabbed a hammer in the closet and smashed it on the mirror. Maybe so my mom listens to me. Tori, are you okay? Mom looked at me with frightened eyes on the doorstep of the bathroom. I want to get plastic surgery. I did not persist. I want to be beautiful. Mom just shook her head in the negative and handed me a broom and a dustpan, pointing to the fragments on the floor. I huddled into a corner and tears poured out from my eyes. I wasn't okay with this. In two weeks is the school prom, and I want to shine there. And an evil plan came into my head. I'll tell you my plan in a minute. Please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. Then you'll be the first to see new videos on the channel. So I decided to blackmail my mother. The next day, a policeman and a social worker brought me home. Mom was one step away from fainting. She threw me surprised looks. But I kept quiet and waited for my finest hour. The policeman told my mother that he had detained me in a cosmetics store. I stole a few palettes of eyeshadow and blush. But my mother shook her head in disapproval, saying that my daughter does not use cosmetics. And then I went over and whispered in her ear that if she does not agree to my terms, I'll say that it was she who forced me to steal makeup. Mom went pale. She apologized to the policeman for a long time and promised the social worker to keep a closer eye on me. After closing the door behind them, Mom laid back down tiredly on the floor. I even felt sorry for her. But only for a second. So what? Are we going to the plastic surgeon? Now my mom had no other options other than to listen to me. She didn't say anything all the way in the car, and I wanted to jump with excitement. Finally, my dream was coming true. Dr. Benton turned out to be a jolly, good-natured fellow. He asked me why I took such a step. Made me a very tasty tea with lemon and then asked to show me what I wanted. I flipped through a few pictures on my phone and clicking on one of them, 
The doctor was clearly surprised to see a picture of what I dreamed of looking like. He handed the phone to my mother, and she froze in surprise. It was because the picture I showed to the doctor was hers. I wanted to have chubby lips and expressive eyes like hers. Suddenly, my mother left the room, and the doctor continued to discuss with me all the details of the upcoming operation. A few minutes later, a woman wearing my mother's clothes came into the office. Yes, yes, that's right. Not a drop of makeup on her face, and I did not recognize her. Mom? I was shocked. Turns out my mom didn't have pouty lips at all. And her eyes were as inconspicuous as mine. Mom's face was also covered in freckles and fine lines. We both looked in the mirror and laughed. Mom, is that really you? You look so much like... You? Mom interrupted me. It is, Tori. It's just makeup can do miracles. And I'm going to teach you that magic. I have given up on the idea of plastic surgery. At least for now. And two weeks later, a very beautiful girl in a gorgeous dress arrived in the school prom. And no one recognized her. Only all the boys, as if on command, turned in her footsteps. And this was the same insecure Tori, who learned how to apply eye makeup beautifully, emphasize the contour of the lips, and make her cheekbones higher. My mom helped me, taught me all the subtleties of makeup, and now I'm the most beautiful girl. Beauty is the key to self-confidence. And each of us is beautiful. We just need to learn how to emphasize our natural beauty.